Hey, hey, Stephen King, producer of the intro for the Nut Shack. We're in the studio putting it together. Nut, Nut Shack. It's the Nut Shack. It's the Nut Shack. If you wasted your life in the past few weeks on the internet, you've heard about the Nut Shack. Or probably didn't. I don't know you. You may have heard the theme song, or ran into one of many parody videos of it. The Nut Shack theme, but the lyrics are out of order. The Nut Shack opening, but every time they say the Nut Shack, it gets progressively faster. The Nut Shack theme, but sung by a chorus of cute anime girls. Oh boy! It's the Nut Shack. And here's my favorite, the Nut Shack theme, but every Nut Shack is replaced with the entire reading of the B-movie script. It's 14 hours long, and it's not like a text-to-speech program reading the script. A real human read the whole script for 14 hours. What the fuck is the Nut Shack? <laughs> Never again. Yellow, black. Yellow, black. Well, it all started on October 2014. I made a video on top 10 worst cartoon theme songs, and the number 3 ranking was The Nut Shack. Years go by, and I never gave that cartoon a second look. Until summer 2016, there was a YouTube channel called Silva Gunner, who uploads songs from video games. Let's say you want to listen to a song from that one game people on YouTube pretend to be afraid of for money. Five Nights at Fuckboys. Click on the video expecting music from the game, and you get this. That's not from the game, or is it? I never played it. This whole YouTube channel tricks people with stupid remixes. Some of them happen to feature the Nut Shack, which took off into a slew of parodies I mentioned before. At the time, I was not aware of this channel, yet they contacted me saying, Hey, you want to do a song for us? We know your little sister can sing. I was like, what is this? I don't know you. I got no time for this. Then they went on to make a song sampling me. Hey, hey, come on over, have some fun with Rebel Taxi. If they were aware of me, they probably heard me talk about the Nut Shack years ago and decided to use it long before anyone really cared it existed. So I may have started this meme. Now I'm gonna end it. The meme ends here. No memes, no mercy. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Let's find out if the Nut Shack is the sixth worst cartoon ever in no particular order. It's juice and jam time. After watching an episode, oh I'm sorry, after tolerating an episode, I see The Nut Shack is a raunchy adult cartoon about a group of Filipinos living in the city. The next time I see you, your wrinkly nuts will be going down. What did you say? You're going down on my nuts? What? <laughs> no. Amazingly, this production is of historical value, as The Nut Shack is the first ever cartoon by and for Filipinos. I hope they're proud of that fact. That'd be like if the first black president was Tyler Perry with Vice President Flava Flav. That ain't nothing to be proud of. When I first saw this cartoon, I thought it was Mexican, but thankfully, my people don't have to take the blame for this one. We'll take the blame for any Robert Rodriguez kids movies, but not this. Not this. It's the Filipinos' fault. Filipinos! Filipinos look like Mexicans that just woke up. <laughs> Our cast of hip, streetwise nuts are Phil, the angsty teenager, and his nervous cousin Jack, who just moved into the States. The two live with their sleazy uncle, Tito Dickman Dick. I am Dick. I am the leader of all of these idiots. <laughs> then there's also a girl love interest. She's got huge boobs and a hat that I just don't understand. Is that a beanie or just like one of those Asian conical hats? Why does it hang off the sides like that? I don't know. Each character is more horrendous than the last, but none more so than Horat, a robot monkey fusion atrocity cousin Jack created for whatever reason we'll never know. Its voice is that of a child being strangled through a corrupted baby monitor. Holy sweet Jesus! What the shit are you? What? You ain't seen a robotic cat scare before in your life? <laughs> 
This is why we don't play God, at least not on the easy setting. Watching the Nutshack is a terrifying experience. Everything is so grotesque and fills me with shame and righteous indignation. Just looking at these characters walk is something the human eye cannot handle. <laughs> The Nutshack is a raunchy comedy trying its best to be as crude and offensive as possible. Combined with the visuals, it's kind of a guilty pleasure I watch just to see how sickening it can get. Ooh, monkey love. It's like picking at a crusty scab. It's awful, but something about it just feels right. I hate it, yet I'm fascinated. Like with any raunchy comedy, there comes a breaking point where it's just so insane that I can't help but laugh with the Nutshack. <laughs> What's up, guys? Jack? Is that you? I'm fucking fat again! Oh, oh, what the hell? I'm fucking my nose, man! What sickens me the most are the fingers. Yeah, cartoons normally have four fingers since it's easier to draw, but seeing these hands drawn with a little more realism and fingernails is just. Ugh. They're like bulbous E.T. sausage fingers. What was going through the minds of these animators? It was probably one of those scripts that just took forever, forever to, uh, to finish just because we think we'd have it done and then we'd show the animatic to people. It was just, it was wrong. It was, you know, there was crickets and uh, it was real awkward and you were all sitting there like, this was really funny when we were by ourselves. What happened, man? <laughs> so here's a question. Why is this show called The Nutshack? I don't know. Maybe it's where they live? This would imply I paid enough attention to this series. People make fun of the theme song. I doubt half of them even sat through an episode. Granted, it's not the worst theme song I've heard. You ever listen to the French Dragon Ball Z intro? The best part is there's an extended version with the singer green screened in front of the anime. Any of you who dissed Rock the Dragon have no right to complain anymore. Speaking of, considering the Philippines is in Asia, this is an Asian cartoon, and thus the Nutshack is close to being a Japanese anime. Still, the Nutshack theme song is nowhere near as classic as the other nut based musical group, Slipknot. Slipping on nuts, we're the slipknot, slipping on nuts. Look, he fell down, I slipped on some nuts. Classic Conan. So on my Twitter and Tumblr, I told everyone if someone were to send me a DVD of this cartoon to my P.O. Box, I'll review it. Links to my P.O. Box in the description. The Nutshack DVD is hard to find and usually goes for about $50. Like, who's gonna go through the effort and money just for a meme? Three people. One sent an official DVD, thanks aficionado Chris. One sent a bootleg DVD printed on blank CDs filled with MP4 rips off YouTube. And the last is a Netflix DVD. Someone redirected their Netflix account to ship to my P.O. box. Am I supposed to send this back? I am not responsible for your Netflix account. No, I am not sending this back until whoever did this apologizes to me for this bullshit. The nerve of you to expect responsibility out of me. Now, let's go back to enjoying some DVD quality nutshack. Simpsons is back on Cartoon Network.
Now, let's go back to enjoying some DVD quality nutshack. To be honest, this show doesn't look that bad. This is where you learn the difference between design and animation. If you check out the storyboard sketches, it looks pretty stylish. I can see the urban graffiti style they were going for, but in motion on a Newgrounds level of Adobe Flash, it really drags it down. I did some research, and by research I meant I read Wikipedia articles, and by read Wikipedia articles I meant I hit Control F a lot and found the two creators of the show. Believe it or not, the co-creator Jesse Hernandez has actually done other things besides the Nutshack. Jesse has painted Aztec-inspired graffiti art for the likes of Kid Robots collectible toys, a lead character designer for the video game Mod Nation Racers on PlayStation 3, among other pieces of official art for movies and musicians. Part of vinyl toys that I've always been attracted to is the urban vinyl style. So I saw like other like graffiti influence, you know, street art influence. I do this urban Aztec kind of style based on my own cultural roots, you know, uh, being like Chicano, Native American. He even hosted a TV show where he looks into the culture of vinyl figures called Vinyl Addiction. It's hard to find, but I'll link what few episodes I found in the description. I really love the smooth style of vinyl figures. I would collect more, but they're really expensive. They're art toys. A lot of the people that make these, they, they're also painters, designers, other things like that. Yet it still remains somewhat underground. Not anymore! <laughs> Funko sold out. You know what I'm glad for? Is Vinyl Addiction was recorded before the influx of pop figures and blind bags flooded the market. Once the toy company Funko got the license to turn every single movie ever made into a figure, vinyl toys became mainstream and oversaturated. Funko pop figures are this generation's Beanie Babies. I do happen to own some pretty rare pop figures, but they're not my favorite vinyl brand. Those eyes I just don't like. Though given the chance to have my work as a pop figure, I would totally sell out for them. Hell yeah! What I do like about Funko is they're more affordable and what I regularly spend my money on. Kid Robot Finals got the slick style I prefer, plus they have the balance between licensed figures and original pieces of art, but damn are they expensive. How hipster do you have to be to spend $15 on a figure only 3 inches tall? Well, that's enough for overpriced toys. This video is about the Nutshack. I'm wondering, is there any sort of online presence for the cast and crew? Yeah! Tune into the Nutshack, bitch! www.thenutshack.net, bitches! Woo! Woo! Well, golly gee, let's check out that website. Oh. Aww. The site has been bought out by some Japanese skincare product. Do you think the people who worked on this show are aware of its infamy, yet want nothing to do with it? A wise man once said, Do you think God stays in heaven because he too fears of what he's created? Spoken by Steve Buscemi in Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams. Yes, that's an actual quote from that movie, I'm not kidding. That is the deepest shit I have ever heard, and it's from fucking Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams. This is where we figure out how much money we're gonna make with Nutshack. Oh man, hella money. To get a bit more insight on the process of the Nutshack, I tried to listen to the audio commentary. Emphasis on tried, it's like they had the TV on too loud while recording the commentary and overlaid the badly recorded commentary audio on top of the regular DVD audio. So you just hear people bickering over an echoing TV show. Looked like somebody took a cartoon and threw it in a blender. <laughs> by the way, this all this animation is done by Star Animation in the Philippines. Very talented people over there, peeps. Did anything go right with this show? It's like a team of first-timers made a TV show. Analyzing the crew members' IMDb credits, that's very likely the case. Just look at this scene that makes no sense. Jack wakes up to hear his cousin Phil screaming. Mmm, candy! Huh? Is that Phil? Warning! What you are about to see is not intended for a heterosexual audience. So, he thinks Phil's scream is coming from the TV, which is turned off. He then turns on the TV in order to hear Phil? Ha! Huh? I'm so confused. Even the dialogue is often nothing more than weird noises. If the noises came from a human, I refuse to believe. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking suck cock lick ball shit! 
I can admit, there's some good qualities to the Nutshack. When the show isn't terrifying me, I kind of like the chill vibe of it. I'm a fan of any cartoon hanging out in an urban environment. Stuff like Mission Hill, Hey Arnold, The Downtowners. Granted, the Nutshack is nowhere near as good as any of those shows, but it tried. I think. I'm sure they must have tried. Please, tell me you tried. Yes, alright! What the hell? Yeah. Camera! Make him laugh! Oh my god, I'm gonna have you next! <laughs> yeah. Look at you! What channel did this even air on? Something called Mix TV, a small channel that only airs in major cities. Clearly, the show only had $2 in its budget. That explains why the first season aired 2007 and the second season started 2011. There was a four year gap between seasons. What is this? The Venture Brothers? It's the Nutjack! Yeah! Only, 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 yeah! As this video comes to a close, one question still remains. What is the Nutshack? The theme song claims it's the Nutshack, but what is it? Are the characters the Nutshack? Or were we the Nutshack the whole time? We may never know what was going through the minds of these animators, but what we do know is truly it was the Nutshack. For the most part, I'm just... I'm super proud of it. I'm super proud of all the people that helped me work on it. As, as Nub would say, Brontosaurus. To all our fans in Nutshack, I just want to say thank you. You know, um, you're a niche counterculture crowd, and, and I love you. Um, thank you, and even the people who uh, who uh, were part of the backlash and uh, um, told us that we sh we uh, shouldn't be doing that, and that's not how Filipinos act, and stuff like that. Thank you. Put together some real animated, real catchy, real something that's gonna boost this cartoon. Like it just like hell, like one person. It's the nut shack, and they build together. It's the like the double, and then it's the nut shack. Four of them. It's the nut shack. The reason you just I can see them all dancing around, like starting to sing it, like you can like you know how it builds up. One person saying it, one other person saying it. You know what I mean? I want the choir, the choir of nut shack. Oh, oh, Horan, you gotta come here and check this out, dude. What? Get out. You think we should check it out? It's the nutshack.net. Watch videos, get interesting site news, check out photos and vids of the crew, including the Nutshack models. Hit up the forums and the instant tag board, and get the hottest Nutshack gear. Log on to www.thenutshack.net.